Antoinette, I, I just want the double nickel to meet the triple nickel. Ah! I'm Benny Singleton. I was in the Triple Nickel 552 Passion in the Battalion. I was the uh, T5 Corporal. My name is Wilfred Mac McCarty. World War II, I was in the, the Battle of Bowes and uh, shared an uh, 88 shell. We came back on the ship and uh, the, uh, the tugboat captain came out to bring us in. And uh, I was at the rail. And uh, when he came up, he said, welcome home, son. I burst into tears and the war was over. <laughs> well, hello there, my, it's been a long, long time. How my name is George Kidd. I was drafted in the Marine Corps in 1943 when I was young and plowed and picked cotton. And when uh, I was drafted in the Marine Corps, uh, I was, it was my salvation because I hadn't completed high school. And uh, when the Marine Corps got me there and sort of uh, shook me up a little bit and determined that uh, that was a good home for me. So uh, having been one of the first blacks that they started getting into the Marine Corps, started letting into the Marine Corps in 1942. The service was opened up to blacks in 1942 by President Roosevelt. And I was a private in the Korean War that um, kept getting promoted and uh, finally I yeah, was a major and then they discovered I hadn't graduated from high school so they said you can't be a major. <laughs> so I became a war correspondent in the Vietnam War. How am I doing? Oh, I guess that I'm doing fine. Story of love in war times and the influence of it with a song. Everybody has a song. When they hear it, they react. It isn't always good. It's bittersweet. And the mind won't let it go but it's part of your life. And here's Terry's. Naro porigo kochi ni mon shim ni do mo ka soho bai pyong nan da I hope that he's doing fine. I'm Clifford Edward Young, Jr. Lieutenant Colonel of the United States Army. At the end of August, all of a sudden, there was a big influx of other black officers. Now, we were not heavily attendants of, of, of Command General Staff College prior to that time. And little did we know that this was one of the markers if you were to make further commitments or further promotions in the military. But lo and behold, I saw this influx coming in, primarily from Vietnam. And, and some of them were old classmates of mine and friends. And we, we joined together, and we used to, we used to meet oh, just for lunch. And, and yak, yak, you know how we shuck and jive, and that's what we did. But what we were trying to do was to figure out a way how to move in and get around the requirements of the Command Jones Staff College in order to make sure we all graduated. October the 9th, 1974, right here in Washington, D.C. at Pentagon, all of a sudden we'd gotten so large, we decided to have a meeting and call ourselves something. And we ended up with the perfect name, and it was called the No Name Club. Slips away.